Welcome to Read Feed. This is my corner of the internet where I talk about a book that I have just read. And I've switched the background up because I'm talking about thrillers. And this one specifically by Helen Callahan. Dear Amy, please help me. First of all, I have to admit that I love the name Margot. So when I flipped the book over, and found Margot Lewis is a teacher at an exclusive high school in the English University town of Cambridge. In her spare time, she writes an advice column, Dear Amy, for a local newspaper. When one of Margot's students, 15-year-old Katie, disappears, the school in town fear the worst. And then Margot gets a Dear Amy letter, unlike any she's received before. It's a desperate plea for rescue from a girl who says she is being held captive and in terrible danger. The girl named Bethan Avery, who was abducted from a local area 20 years ago and never found. The letter matches a sample of Bethan's handwriting and the police have kept on file since she vanished. And this shocking development in an infamous cold case catches the attention of criminologist Martin Forrester, who has been trying to find out what happened to her all those years ago. Spurred on by her concern for both Katie and mysterious Bethan, Margot sets out, with Martin's help, to discover if the two cases are connected. But then Margot herself becomes a target. I have to tell you a little bit about this author, Helen Callahan. She was born in California to British parents and in her early years uh, were spent both in the U.S. and United Kingdom. So her writing style is definitely unique and something that I gravitate towards simply because I'm like, ooh. It's, it takes place in England, and I'm familiar with that, and I absolutely adore that culture, so yay! And um, United States, I live here, so yay! Um, she was a fiction specialist and buyer for Athena Bookshops, Dillon's, and Waterstones for eight years. She read archaeology at Cambridge University, a subject she is still passionate about and works in IT. So authors can have separate lives as well, and I just want to say this Dear Amy is one that I picked up simply because of the author and the name Marco. And I just started reading and there is so much that just captures you. I love the twists and turns that Helen has set up. Um, as I say in my summary, it's a great crime drama. The writing was accessible and it's unique. Uh, the last half of the book flew by because all of a sudden you're thrust with all this knowledge and you just want to like let's keep going let's keep going and find out where this actually takes us as the reader um, so it flew by I have to admit I hated a few chapters for their content and the point of view Helen puts uh, the pieces down for the reader to pick up that discovers more about Marco the main character who writes the advice column and finds out more about herself and um, how it's linked to the crime of Katie missing and the crime of Bethan missing. Uh, this great read, please pick up Helen Callahan's Dear Amy, Please Help Me. <laughs> you will not be disappointed and this is just an absolutely fantastic read. You will not want to put this down, especially when you get to that halfway mark where things just start going and you're like, oh, please let this happen. And it's very fun as you can tell. This is Read Feed of Helen Callahan's Dear Amy, Please Help Me.